I'm old fashioned and 21, 11, 16. Take one.
Jerome Kern and Johnny Mercer wrote so many great songs back in the 1930s, 1940s. This is one of them from 1942, I'm Old Fashioned. Um, Jerome Kern wrote the music, Johnny Mercer wrote the lyrics. Um, it was in a film called You Were Never Lovelier, uh, which f the, the, the actress in that, the star in that was, was Rita Hayworth. Uh, Fred Astaire recorded it, sang it in 1942. I, th I believe that was the very first recording. And then other singers like uh, Judy Garland, uh, Dinah Shaw, Andy Williams, Blossom Deary. In the 60s, um, the sort of opera singer, light operatic singer Eileen Farrell, who I actually worked with um, probably in the, I think in the, the late 80s, she did a version of it. And then I, also in the 80s, Cassandra Wilson. Uh, John Coltrane recorded it. Uh, in 1957 on his album Blue Train and again I'm very much influenced by piano players versions of this George Gershwin sorry George Gershwin George Shearing <laughs> George Shearing uh, recorded it uh, Oscar Peterson Dave Brubeck Jimmy Rolls Al Haig Amma Jamal Tommy Flanagan they're all versions that, that I've that I've really enjoyed so again this is very coming back to being influenced by piano players of having that right hand and left hand you hear a lot of those left hand piano comps uh, g going on there so it's a great tune to play i don't know what key it was written in originally because i've actually, i don't think i've ever played it with a band before but i found that the key of e just worked very nicely on the guitar um i, I think it was probably either written in in f or, or b flat but um, yeah, it works, it works well in the key of E. I've been playing this, this for a long, long time. Uh, probably 30, 35 years I've been playing this tune. Oh, and there's another, there's a guitar version that's worth checking out as well. Johnny Smith uh, did a great version of this. Um, so yeah, I've been recording it, I've been playing it for quite a few years, about 35 years, and I've recorded it a few times. Um, but again, it's one of these, these things, that it just, it's organic. It's always changing. I have I have key little um, arrangement things that I play in an introduction and an ending, but then I even I think on this I've this version I I change that around a little bit. But I like to stretch out a little bit more on this, and certainly on on these studio sessions I like to um, give myself the opportunity to take more risks rather than stick to any kind of arrangement. Just have the arrangement as, as a very loose thing that's going on. I often think of the arrangement as being, being like a safety net. <laughs> so when I'm taking risks walking the, the, the high wire, I know that if I fall off, I've got that safe, safety net of the, the arrangement to, to fall back on. <laughs> 